The European Le Mans series makes a visit to Spa-Francorchamps in August in 2024 and as a result we have glorious conditions set for qualifying with temperatures in the mid-20s peaking at 29 degrees Celsius. LMGT3, the new category for this season, out first and Aston Martin making their mark with the TF-backed team Grid Motorsport. It's a bronze-only session, remember, so Martin Berry set the time in the big vantage. Then Johnny Lawson in the number 50 Formula Racing car was briefly out front. Then he slipped to third position, eventually, though, in the middle in second. However, championship leaders yet to take a pole position because Sarah Bovey's been doing most of that in the 85 Iron Dames car. So Iron Lynx, as the championship leader, still looking for their first win. Hiroshi Hamaguchi set a spectacular time. And this is what it meant to the Iron Lynx crew, recovering, of course, from Luca Persiani's death earlier this week. On we go in. Onward we went to LMP3 and a real combination of different talents throughout this field of 10 cars into Europol competition with their strong driver Pedro Perino, the Portuguese, performing well in the 88 car to post a third fastest time. Cool Racing's Manuel Espirito Santo, who was on pole at the start of the year in Barcelona, good for second place. But Gael Julien repeating the feat that he achieved in Lucastele back in May. And the young Frenchman with a spectacular lap that the team were very, very happy with, including Nick Adcock celebrating with the car. And Gael Julien will be definitely a favourite to go well in tomorrow's race once he takes over the number 15 car. Started. A brief pause before the LMP2s headed out onto track. Spa's been resurfaced since the World Endurance Championship visited earlier on. There is scope for LMP2s to be even faster than Hypercar. John Faub yet to have a pole position in his career, but he fell short third place for Nielsen Racing. Proton Competition's Giorgio Roda has taken every single pole position to date, but it's second for the Italian because Richard Mille by TDS Racing's Rodrigo Sales left it rather late to set the 204.537 to put Richard Mille and TDS together with a smiling Matthias Besch here, high-fiving the rest of the team. That car to start on pole for LMP2 Pro-Am. And then we would wait for the big session of qualifying for the LMP2s and the full Pro-Am lineup here. You have to have a silver in your combination, but you can use any driver. And the 43 into Europol competitions, Tom Dillman set the third best time. Panis Racing, who were on pole position last time out at Imola with Charles Milesi, ran very, very close with his 201.6, but four tenths of a second faster. Louis Delatras, the real talent from Switzerland, has had to wait till round four for his first pole position. But the AO by TF Car will start tomorrow's race from the front of the field. And it's going to be a cracker, slightly cooler conditions for the four hours of Spa, which begins at 11.30.